Hello YouTube, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to make a quick, how to model a quick Pokeball, just for some simple modeling. Start off with a sphere, I'm gonna keep it at radius of 100, zoom in a bit, and let's increase the segments to, let's say... 120, change it to a hemisphere, so now we have this nice hemisphere looking thing, just highlight over the, click on the sphere, push C on your keyboard, so that will make it edible, go over to this, so you're in the polygon, and go to loop selection, and just highlight that bottom loop right there and delete it and then if we click command A or control A for a PC and then go to extrude right click on the object and click extrude extrude it by let's say 2 and then that's looking pretty nice We'll just go back into, click on this, so you're back in the normal mode, and click on the rotation tool. Hold down this, go to edit, copy, edit, paste, and rotate it 180 degrees. Come up with something like this. And we'll just grab a cylinder right here. And we'll put it on the X plus axis and shrink down the height so it's about that. And sh put down. So I made the cylinder height to 40, put the radius to 25. And let's take the sphere and holding down shift, click on the other half of the sphere and right click them and hold and click group objects. And now, if you go under the one with the array, click on bool and then oops, drag both of these into the bool object and switch their order so that the bool hmm oops I took them out that's why it wasn't working there we go is that right? yeah I don't know why it's... Okay, whatever. Now, we'll add another sphere with 100 and just make it 120 segments. And so you'll have a little lip right there. Give it some nice touch. And we'll go inside here and edit, copy, edit, paste the cylinder so that we have a cylinder right here. And we'll shrink that down to about, let's see what that looks like. Shrink it down. Let's just put a texture on this inside sphere so that you can see this better. And we'll push this sphere in so it's sticking out like that. 
come to the side view and make it so it's lined up perfectly to this line right there. Well, not perfectly, but you'll get it. Alright, it's looking pretty nice. And we'll add a little bit going to caps under the cylinder. Add a fillet. Pull it out. Just make it a radius of like one. Pull down the segments to about five. Push it back in. Make it about like that. You know what? Let's make this radius a bit bigger because that doesn't look right. No, maybe it does. 21 looks better. Let's just copy that. Copy the cylinder. And make the radius... Let's say... 15. Pull that out, just like that, and now that's pretty much done. All we have to do is add the textures. You know what? Everything just looks really small. Let's just go in here, make this like 30, make this. Six. Make this. Make this. Twenty-three. Sixteen. Looks pretty nice. All right. So we'll start. Add a new texture. Just double click down here, and we'll make it a nice, the whitest it can go, add a reflection of Fresnel, and make it 50, and then the brightness to zero. And just drag this onto the bottom half, and then copy this texture, copy and paste it. And then we'll make it a red, just like that, put that to the top, and then we'll copy and paste that, make it a black, and we'll put that in the middle, and we'll just take this white, put it back onto these two things, and there we go. Now, if you just want to add, put this in a group. We'll just add a floor. Drag that down. Go under it. Until you don't see the pokeball sticking out. Just barely sticking through. We'll go back to the Pokeball and let's rotate this so it's on a nice angle instead of just straight up and down, which means we'll have to put the floor back right, hmm, right there, I guess. Yeah, it looks, it looks good. And we'll just add a white texture. And then we'll add a sky and put the same texture. See how that looks real fast? Hmm. Just add a light. No. I'll show you a nice technique. You might already know this. But if you just make a plane and make it like 100 by 100 and then MoGraph cloner 
put the plane and the cloner and make the cloner object into a grid way. Make the middle number to 1. Make this one to 4 and this one to 4. Make the size a bit bigger and this size a bit bigger. And then just pull that up and that'll be your light source. Because we'll make a new texture and make, just turn on luminance so it's all the way up. And then just drag this to the plane. And now you have a nice makeshift light source. And just rotate it any way you want. And you can see it in there. It still needs this. Because it needs that shadow. That's pretty weird. You know what, just get rid of the planes. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this just... Just on the spot, just kind of working with some stuff. Because I have nothing to do. And rotate it like that. Make it really big. Even though that does nothing. And then if we go into our render settings and add an ambient occlusion and a global illumination. And then we'll render that out. And that is looking pretty nice. Give me a thumbs up for the photorealistic final render right there and uh, if you have any requests for any future tutorials or anything just comment in the in this video comment box or send me a personal message message if you have any ideas all right thanks subscribe